738 p.m. PDT 10,272,017 by Rhett Bartlett Getty Images John Mallow with Natalie Wood and Darth Vader at the 1978 Oscars. John Mallow, the costume designer who brought to life Ralph McQuarrie and George Lucas' conceptual vision for Star Wars, has died. He was 86. His death was reported in the Times of London. A military history expert, Mallow had never seen a science fiction film before agreeing to meet with Lucas, who was planning his third feature after his Oscar-nominated American Graffiti 1973. We discussed a few concepts when I joined the team, and George had a clear vision of what he was looking for. He liked the idea of the baddies having a fascist look about them, with the heroes reflecting the look of heroes of the American Wild West, he told www.starwarshelmets.com. With Macri's sketches and a meager budget of $1,173 for one costume, the London Burn Mallow began shaping and fine-tuning Darth Vader's image through his knowledge of World War I trench armor and Nazi helmets, ultimately creating the look of one cinema's most memorable villains. His military influence is also visible in the regalia worn by the crew of the Death Star. Star Wars went on to become the highest-grossing film of 1977 and received 10 Oscar nominations and a Special Achievement Award. Malo won for Best Costume Design. As you see, the costumes from Star Wars are really not so much costumes as a bit of plumbing and general automobile engineering, he said upon receiving his Oscar, flanked by his creations of Darth Vader, Princess Leia and Stormtroopers. Mala won a second Academy Award in 1983 for his work on Richard at Hunborough's Gandhi. He shared the award with Banu Athaya, the first Indian to win. His military knowledge first came in handy as an advisor on Nicholas and Alexandra 1971 and Barry Lyndon 1975, both collected Oscars for costume design. After the success of Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope, Mala's next film was another science fiction blockbuster Alien 1979. Director Ridley Scott has credited Star Wars as a seminal influence for his own space franchise. Malo's focus was to create used and well-worn clothing for the crew of the Nostromo on their long return trip to Earth as well as designing the patches and emblems emblazoned across their suits. He returned to the Star Wars franchise in 1980 for The Empire Strikes Back, directed by Irvin Kirshner. Malo also worked on Greystoke The Legend of Tarzan, Lord of the Apes 1984, Cry Freedom 1987, White Hunter Blackheart 1990, Air America 1990, Chaplin 1992 and Event Horizon 1997. His brother Andrew is also an expert on military uniforms and has been a consultant and production designer across film and television.